Good afternoon. Welcome to the Marcy Hearst Ice Center here in Erie, Pennsylvania. I'm your Alan Saunders. Of course, I'm Brian Mitchell. It's for Hockey Day Digest pregame show. Big game today against Marcy Hearst. Rob Morris, of course, coming off a 5 2 victory against the Lakers last night at the, I'm sorry, at the Island Sports Center. Um, big details last night happened here. That top line started to look really good. And, you know, Brady Ferguson, two goals. Timmy Moore jumping in front for that first, uh, first Fergie goal. It was. An absolute spectacular shot. Alan, what did you see whenever you were uh, watching the last night? You know, I, I thought that the, the top line looked pretty good. They, they looked like they, the team that they've been, uh, the players that they've been for their careers instead of uh, the up and down play. It was a little more consistency. Um, we've got some other things here on the, on the lineup part that I thought were interesting. Uh, same, same lines for Robert Morris tonight as last night, uh, and that involves Nick Jenny on the top pair on defense. He's a a freshman, he was around a little bit last year um, in the second half of the season, but didn't play. And now he's right up there with Alex Bonte on that top unit. Uh, what have you seen from Jenny? Uh, the, the, I guess the reason that he's been trusted with that opportunity. I think it was like, what we were just speaking, it was just the opportunity that he received. Uh, that was that Bentley series. He was able to get in in the second game of that series, and uh, he's just stepped up in his game. He's a very solid positional defenseman. He jumps into plays when he needs to, but he's smart enough to be able to get back whenever he has to. He's very, very dynamic. Very big dynamic player for uh, Robert Morris. It's something that is very a nice little detail in the season that hasn't gone so well for the Colonials so far. But at the same time, you're starting to see those little pieces come together and pieces like Nick Jenny popping in there. You know, the Riley Rislings and the Nick Perkusics and players like that that are starting to jump in with that. Well, I want to go to Perkusic next because he, uh, for the second game, he's playing on the third line right wing. Uh, Brandon Watt has been moved from the wing to the center. And uh, what I think Derek School is looking for there are some face-off wins. Uh, Brady Ferguson is the only guy in Robert Morris who's well above 50-50. Uh, Dorowitz and Manzanudo, just about just about a coin flip. Perkusik was down about 30%. And one of the things we've talked about all year is that there's been these games where Robert Morris gets into where they're just dominating an opponent, they have puck possession, they have more shots, and then they give up a goal. And one of the ways that, happen, that that happens is you lose a face-off in the defensive end. And it, it doesn't matter if you're playing with good puck possession if you never have it, you know, you lose the face off, two passes, and there's a goal, and there's really nothing anybody can do there. So um, I think it, that fourth line what he's looking for there is, I think, uh, some defensive zone face off wins. And Brandon Watts, a player who hasn't played a ton of center at this level, um, but he's, he's, a, he's an experienced guy. I think face offs are tough for a young player. We see that at other levels too. You look at like rookie centers in the NHL, they typically struggle in face offs. And so I think with Perkusic, being new to this level, um, probably moving him to the wing just makes things a little bit simpler for him. And maybe Watt is a more experienced player that's been at this level. He's now a junior. Maybe he can uh, give quite a spark there. Other thing that jumped out to me, Francis Murad back-to-back starts after a really strong performance yesterday. 35 and 37 in the net. I mean, it's one of those Murad specials. You just don't know that he's doing it until you look at the score sheet afterwards. And he was a big part of last night's win in a way that nobody ever noticed. So, you know. It's one of those things you look at for this team, especially with Francis Murat. How much do you feel like Murat's um, season this far has been about what he's done, and how much do you feel like it's been about the defense in front of him? I, I know it's been a combination of both. Uh, how much do you feel like it that, that that's played a factor though? I think it's a lot more along the lines of the defense in front of him. Murat has been susceptible to a couple extra bounces here and there on rebounds, especially, and the defense just has to be able to put it out in front of him. And it's just one of those things where they're working on it. You can see that there's actually a lot of work being done in these games. And unfortunately, right now, it's just some of the bad bounces that we all allude to ever since that RIT series. That they just haven't been able to get all the bounces in that way. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Lakers taking the ice behind us. Face off uh, coming up in just about uh, 30 minutes here from first year's nice arena in Erie. Yeah, definitely. Uh, of course. Looking for the sweep. Big opportunity here to go into the break uh, with, with a uh, sweep this weekend against the first year. I think it's a long way uh, for Robert Morris' psyche uh, going into the off period uh, on a high note. Definitely, definitely, Alan.